What is going on you stallions and stallionettes, AK40 Kevin here in the Gamer Heaven. Today I'm going to show you guys how to stream from Twitch directly on your Xbox Series S and X. They don't make it as easy as it used to be on the Xbox One, where you could just press the Xbox Home button and then hit Broadcast Now. It would save all your settings from the last stream, and it was baked into the user interface, and you could control it directly from your controller. Now you do need to install a third-party application, the Twitch app, and I'll show you guys how to set that up. Get all your settings optimized for your console, whether you're on the S or the X and how to get a good high quality stream from your console. Let's get it. Alrighty guys, in the living room here, so you are gonna to need to install the Twitch app. You can just go to the uh, Microsoft Store to download that. You are gonna to need to sign into your profile. If you don't already have a Twitch account, go ahead and create that in your phone or on your computer. And then once you have that, you're gonna to go to twitch.tv forward slash activate, and you're gonna enter the code that pops up on the screen the first time that you log in. And you're gonna be able to uh, sign into your, your uh, Twitch account. So you do need to be logged into broadcast, obviously. So you have these tabs up here. By default, when you launch the app, you'll be at home here. You're gonna scroll over to broadcast. Don't worry about destination. It's still in its beta phase and it just doesn't work great. So I do not have a webcam currently plugged in, but you just plug them into one of the USB ports. I will say most USB webcams do work, but some do not. The one that I use on my PC actually does not work. So you are, you know, it's a safe bet to use like a Kinect or something like that, but the picture quality is not great. So, so I put a link in the description below to some of the webcam models that I know for a fact do work on the Xbox One and Xbox Series. Uh, and you can also just search on Amazon or Google for Xbox compatible webcams and it'll give you a list. So once you do have a webcam though, you'll be able to choose if you want it in the bottom right or top left. Uh, which is pretty cool. You can adjust the size like you can on the PS4, which I thought was kind of weird that a PS4 can do it, but a new Xbox series cannot. Um, but you were able to actually adjust the size of the window, how big you want it, which is pretty cool. You have your microphone here. So I would leave that at 100 or maybe about 80. And then you have your game volume. I would typically turn that down to about 50 or so. So that way your voice is, is the most prominent audio on your stream, obviously. Uh, and then the game is still hearable if there's dialogue and stuff like that, but you, do, you want your voice to be the main fo point of focus on your stream. You can also uh, set the bit rate here. So what, this is gonna be based off a couple things. One, your home internet, which I do recommend if you're streaming, you are on a wired ethernet connection. Uh, if you are not, I do recommend you have good Wi-Fi, so make sure that your service provider is offering you the best uh, possible upload and download speeds. And then also, Make sure you have a good modem and router. I do have previous videos on how to boost your home internet speed for gaming. I'll have that linked in the description below where I go over uh, routers, repeaters, um, and basically how to position devices in your house to get the best Wi-Fi signal or wired connection. So I have this Twitch article pulled up here. If you just Google Twitch bit rates, it gives you this here. Obviously you're not gonna be broadcasting just audio unless you're doing like a podcast on Twitch or something, but uh, 720, 30 is probably the lowest, well not probably, it is gonna be the lowest quality that you would ever attempt to stream. That recommends a bit rate of 3000 uh, kilobytes. 3000 kilobytes, if you're gonna be doing 720, 60, they recommend 4500. If you're gonna be doing 900p at 60 frames, they want 6,000 and then uh, 1080 60 is most likely what you're going to aim for on an Xbox Series S or X. So you can go to automatic and it will uh, recommend what you should be streaming at 720 or 1080. On the Xbox Series as long as you have a good internet connection you can be at 1080p uh, no problemo. I would recommend the bit rate you putting it at 6,000 or even a little bit higher. The highest you can go on the console is 6,500. If you're using Streamlabs OBS on a PC, you can go to the moon if you want to, but 6,000 is what's recommended for 1080p, so that's what we're gonna leave it at. You're gonna enter the title for your stream here, so Halo Master Chief Collection Series S 1440 120 HDR. Uh, that's just something I put in there so people know exactly what they're gonna be looking at. Uh, whatever game you're gonna be playing will appear in that blacked out or grayed out bar to the left there. Uh, enter your language. I would I would do this. You don't have to, but more people are going to be likely to click on your English-speaking stream. Then you're going to go to start stream right here. Now, as for a microphone, you can either plug in a USB condenser mic to the back of your, your uh, console, or you can just use a wired or wireless headset, like a Bluetooth headset, uh, or I just went straight straight basic with this tutorial here and plugged in a 3.5 millimeter uh, earbuds I've had for years 
and it has a, a built-in microphone here. So that's where your mic's gonna be coming from. I wouldn't stream with this personally because the audio quality is garbage. I would use my gaming headphones, which have a nice boom arm on them. All right, so when you start streaming, as you see, I am live now, which I'm not gonna stay live for long, but it shows you that eyeball. That's how many viewers you have. You can mute your mic, you can pause your stream. Uh, you do not have chat monitor on this or anything like that. So what I would recommend you do is pull open your phone or a tablet and monitor your chat that way. So you can at least respond to people if they ask questions and whatnot. Um, it's not as in-depth as like PC where you can have overlays and pop-ups and, you know, videos playing and all kinds of stuff like that. But it's enough for you to stream some gameplay, and that's what this tutorial is about. All right, guys. Peace.